Hello everybody, Sam Tom Miller here, and with the release of Thor Love and Thunder, I feel like we finally got the last piece of the puzzle here, so I will say right away, spoilers for any and all MCU projects as of July 10th, 2022, so that's all the movies, all the Disney Plus series, spoilers ahead for all of them. So I'm certainly not the first or only person to make this connection or make this claim, but it is very, very clear to anyone paying attention that Marvel is setting up some version of either the Young Avengers or what I'm going to call the New Avengers. Um, and basically all I'm going to do in this video is just tell you who's who's in play. Because whenever I mention this to people that aren't as involved as I am, they seem surprised. But every one of these title characters, every one of these mainline characters, has a replacement in the works. Some of them are, I'll admit, a bit of a stretch as of now. But um, those ones in particular have projects upcoming very soon. At least most of them do. So, the Young Avengers, I'm pretty sure that's what they're called in the comics. I don't know if, if characters within the comics actually call them Young Avengers, but I think that's the name of the books that involve them. But, you know, it's this, it's the Teen Titans problem again, which is what happens if there's someone on the team who's not a teen. So, I'm just going to focus on the concept of a new Avengers. Get this thing out of here. Go away. There we go. Um, most of them are young, and so it's very possible that they will focus on that specifically, but just to give myself a little bit more leeway, I wish I could get this out of here, but I don't know how to do that. Um, but yeah, so just, just to give myself a little bit more breathing room, we're just going to focus on new Avengers, most of which will be young so let's go through a character at a time and talk about who their replacement is or could be so i'm going in like release order of the movies here so first up we got tony stark now i'm not even including war machine in this because at this point he's old and he's been there as war machine from pretty early on but our first least, you know, least good option. But um, if I don't mention it, then someone will complain. Is, sorry, I'm having some technical difficulties. Can I get this done, please? Our first worst option is Pepper Potts as Rescue. So, nope, that is Iron Man again. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm trying to work with two different screens here. And apparently I'm not smart enough to do that. So we see Pepper Potts is rescue in Endgame. I'm not going to spend too much time on her because, like I said, um, she's, she's not the obvious choice here. Now we do have Harley, the kid from Iron Man 3, who appears in the funeral scene for Tony Stark. I don't have a whole lot of faith that he's gonna become the new uh iron kid or whatever but um that's an option there um a better option i think in terms of carrying on the legacy of tony stark is his daughter morgan stark we see her wearing an iron man helmet um and she's very very young so that's a character that's my phone Apologize for that. I literally thought to myself, should I, uh, should I turn my phone off before I record? And I'm like, it's midnight. No one's going to message me, but I still got an email. Uh, so Morgan Stark, um, again, if I don't mention this, people will yell at me, but many people are of the opinion that Spider-Man is Tony Stark 2.0 in the MCU. So he's already around and kicking. We're going to come back to him later though, down there, but, uh, that is an option. And then the last option that I don't have a picture for is uh, Ironheart, 
who is a, a character that picks up the mantle, so to speak, um, in the comics. And I want to say that there's a series for her confirmed. Not 100% about that. I feel like now I'm going to be looking up information as I'm recording this video, which is not how I wanted it to go. So, according to Wikipedia, it is a confirmed upcoming series. We've got Dominique Thorne as Riri Williams slash Ironheart. I don't know who Dominique Thorne is. She's 25, so... Not a child, but let's see if, I guess I'll just pull up a picture of Ironheart rather than her specifically. Or what if I do Ironheart Dominique Thorne? Do we have some, some fan art? Or anything. Not a lot. I know you can't see what I'm looking at right now. So we'll just. We'll just throw this in here. This is going to mess everything up. I got to fix it. Ooh. So there we go. Ironheart. Moving forward. Is probably the most likely. To be the future Iron Man character. More so than these other ones. So that took way too long. Uh, the Hulk. Now Hulk does have a son in the comics. But I feel like they're still quite a ways away from that being a thing in the MCU. But what we do have coming up in the MCU. Very shortly I believe is a She-Hulk TV series. So this is not a young character, but it's a new version of the Hulk. And I don't know much about the cast or the plot or the characters, so there very well could be a child that somehow gains Hulk powers, whether or not it's actually a Hulk's kid. Um, if, if they're doing anything similar to the comics, which is where it's like a blood transfusion or something, I can very easily see a child... Uh, somehow getting involved with that and gaining Hulk powers. But even if they don't do that, we have a newer, younger version of the Hulk coming into play very, very shortly. And now for Thor. This was the one that I wasn't sure of until I saw the movie today. We now know that he's raising a little daughter. Love. Love and Thunder. And... My understanding is that that is Chris Hemsworth's real-life daughter, India Hemsworth, I believe is her name. Um, so we have a new Thor character uh, right there. Even if she wasn't involved, Valkyrie would have been my go-to Thor replacement. Um, but seems like they're not interested in doing much with her. But we have mini little girl Thor with love. Coming in at the end of Thor Love and Thunder. Now moving on to Captain America. This is another one that's got uh, multiple options. The first and most obvious one is Sam Wilson. From Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Then renamed Captain America and the Winter Soldier. We now have a new and technically younger in terms of MCU age. Uh, Captain America. Um... I'm also throwing in Bucky Barnes into the mix because um, there's a little bit of play with, with him using the shield in the show. Neither of those guys are very young, so it might well be that you know one or both of them is kind of the leader of the new team. Captain America was kind of the leader of the old team, so it might be that they take on the leadership role and... Uh, Falcon, oh, I was going to say, Falcon comes back again later, but we'll talk about that later on. Um, 
And I'm not mentioning U.S. Agent here because I'm going to be making another video at some point, hopefully, about the Thunderbolts that are also coming and the different um, counterparts that these characters have uh, for that. So I didn't forget about U.S. Agent, but he's not going to go in this video because he is not a good dude. All right, moving on, we've got Black Widow and... We've now got a whole bunch of Black Widows, but of course our main one is, what's her name, Yelena Beleva. Again, not a child, but certainly pretty young. Um, and again, has a lot of experience, so she could perhaps help train this, this new wave. So it might even be something that it's going to be a new Avengers leading into a young Avengers. But, you know, I don't want to make too many wild claims. Hawkeye, that one's easy. We've got... Another Hawkeye with uh, Kate Bishop taking over the mantle. Teenager. Uh, and then for Guardians of the Galaxy, we have a Teenage Groot filling that role. Now, I have no idea what kind of storyline they're going to go with these guys. Perhaps some kind of multiverse or Kang or something wipes out the main heroes and so these other people have to step up maybe they will be the main versions in other universes i don't know so you know are we going to see teenage Groot with kate bishop hawkeye probably not but i have no idea i'm just like i said i'm just going through an order of release here so i've got them in this order next up we've got the scarlet witch and quicksilver and very hot topic right now in the wake of wandavision and doctor strange 2 we've got Wanda's kids, I believe they're named, what, Billy and Tommy? But it's like Wiccan and something. I'm going to do more research as I'm doing the video. What are the names of Wanda's kids? Wiccan and Speed. So one has super speed. Taking the place of Quicksilver. One has magic powers. Taking the place of Wanda. So we've got both of them. Easily replaced in a sense. Um, then Vision. Again not. Well I guess technically it is a younger character. <laughs> Depending on how you think of it. We've got White Vision. So we've got a newer. Younger. Different version of Vision. Ready to take over. This one's weird because it's the same actor. But, you know, with Vision, you can always just transfer its consciousness to something else or have it reformed into a different body, what have you. Batman and the Wasp. I know it's not their kid together, but Scott Lang's daughter, who I forget the name of, her, her civilian name called Stature in the comics. She was featured in the Ant-Man films, and then after the blip is now much older. I don't know how old she's supposed to be. But um, if she had, I guess it's not powers, it's just the suit, right? So if she gets a suit, then she can become stature in the movies and take the place of Ant-Man and the Wasp. Then we get Falcon, right? So old Falcon is the new Captain America. So what happens to Falcon? Well, this is something that I didn't even really know that much of until I saw people talking about it. But there's another Falcon in the comics, named Joaquin, I gotta look it up, Joaquin Torres? Joaquin Torres, yes. And he was portrayed in uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier Disney Plus series, and he's got old Falcon tech from Sam Wilson. So not a huge character yet, but they are setting up a new, younger Falcon. Then we get to Doctor Strange. And we got a couple different things here. Um, first of all, we have America Chavez, who he kind of took under his wing in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And her power set isn't the same as his, but we do see at the end of that movie, she is training at Comertage to learn the mystic arts. And other aside from her, there are just, you know, so many wizards that train at Comertage or other places like it that could fill that role. Uh, of the Doctor Strange, you know, magic user role. But specifically, I think America Chavez is something they're going to do a lot more with. It's an actual child, um, so they can use her for a long time. 
Then we get to Spider-Man, and this hasn't happened in the MCU yet, but with things like the Spider-Verse and the PS4 game, it seems very likely that Miles Morales is on the way. And with this Spider-Man, you know, going through a lot of growth in No Way Home, and now he's on his own and he's got to kind of step up. Now it seems like the right time where he could be more of a mentor um, rather than needing the mentor. Um, so I don't think it'll be too, too long before we see Miles Morales in the MCU. Then we get to Black Panther, and this one's a little bit tricky because normally I would say that Shuri is the, uh, the obvious choice to be the newer, younger Black Panther, but Leticia Wright uh is butting heads with disney over a couple practices in terms of filming and restrictions and things like that so they might be wanting to lessen her role um which should be too bad honestly because i liked her a lot i really liked her in those movies and i think she could be a good different version of black panther so she's still there she's still the obvious option but, you know, again, they could just take any smart kid in Wakanda because Black Panther, more so than most of these, is a mantle uh, that can be passed on. Then we've got Captain Marvel. And, again, we've got a couple different options to go with here. First of all, we've got Monica Rambeau, um, a.k.a. Photon, Captain Marvel slash Photon from the comics, getting powers from the WandaVision show. But then if we specifically want a child version we have ms marvel airing now on disney plus um so a couple different options to take over the captain marvel role which gets us down to our last row now shang chi this one is like the least solid one and it's because he's the newest character he's the newest solo character and you know he's just not as well established but he does have a younger sister in the movie and it kind of seems like they're hinting at her turning villainous when she's training the ten rings at the end but you know we've had characters before that seem like they're turning villainous at the end of a movie and then they didn't that happened with the incredible hulk at the end of the ed norton film so that could just be a a red herring um but really you know there's a whole dimension that his family is from and you can take any kid from that dimension and have Kid Shang-Chi. Uh, and then we get the Eternals. And one of the Eternals, literally her whole arc in the movie is that she's tired of always looking like a child. And so she's taking steps to change that. But, fact remains, we do have a child Eternal. So, there we go. 20 minutes of me rambling. But... If you were unclear before, or you've been confused about why people keep talking about the Young Avengers or the New Avengers, hopefully this lays it out for you pretty plainly that all of the main heroes in the MCU either already have a replacement that's shown up, or have one that's very likely to, or are part of a society or a culture that could just easily replace them with someone else from that society or culture. Um, so I feel like I don't have much more to say. Like I s said before, I am planning on doing a version of this with uh, the Thunderbolts and kind of looking at who are the possibilities for those team members and what kind of, um, what word did I use before? Counterpoints. Um, are going to be on that team but i think that's going to do it for this video about the young avengers if uh, you have anything that i missed or anything that you think i'm wrong about maybe you think they are going to bring in hulk's son i don't know uh or you have any questions that i can explain for you then leave those down in the comments but that's going to do it for me thank you very much for watching have a good day